Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to our today's tutorial. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified. In today's video, we are going to crochet this beautiful sweater. It's a very simple pattern and very easy to make. Hope you'll enjoy the tutorial to the end. So this pattern is measurement based. That means you can achieve the same uh, sweater for different sizes from small to large and extra large. So let's get started. So I'm going to use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and this medium weight yarn. So start by making a slip knot. then uh, make 100 chains so here i have a uh, uh, 100 chains and um, these chains measure 23 inches so that is uh, the length of my sweater yeah okay so it's 23 inches the next step skip the first two chains and in the third chain make a half double crochet to the next chain a half double crochet to the next half double crochet so you're going to make one half double crochet in every chain until we have um, 12 chains remaining so keep on working and i'll meet you when you have 12 chains remaining to show you what to do half double crochet okay so i have 12 uh, chains remaining and you're going to make one single crochet in each of the 12 chains so insert your hook in the chain and make a single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain single crochet until the last chain all right next row chain one turn your work and uh, in the next 12 stitches you're going to make one single crochet in each stitch back loop only so we have two loops here this is the front loop and then we have the back loop which is this one so you're going to make single crochet in the back loop only single crochet single crochet single crochet until you have 12 stitches so once you get here you're going to change to half double crochet stitches so I have 12 single crochets and in the next stitches we're going to work half double crochet back loop only. So you grab yarn, insert your hook, grab yarn, you have three loops, grab yarn and pull through all. That is a half double crochet. In the next stitch back loop, half double crochet. In the next stitch back loop, half double crochet all the way to this point so when you get to this point we have one stitch remaining instead of working in the back loop only we're going to insert our hook in both loops and make a half double crochet 
Okay, so chain two and turn your work and make half double crochet in the back loop. Only half double crochet in the back loop, half double crochet in the back loop in each stitch until you get where we start making single crochets. So I'll meet you at that point to show what to do next. Back loop, back loop, so in the next 12 stitches we are going to make uh, one single crochet in each, in the back loop only, so insert your hook in the back loop and make a single crochet in the next back loop, single crochet the next single crochet single crochet back loop only single crochet Single crochet in the back loop and when you get to this last stitch here instead of going through the back loop you're going to insert the hoop in both loops and make a single crochet chain one turn your work in the next 12 stitches make one single crochet in the back loop only and uh, this is the pattern we're going to work for, uh, to work with for the uh, front and back panels of our sweater. So for my shoulder to shoulder measurement, I'll be making um, each panel will be measuring 18 and it can stretch up to 20 inches so 18 inches but when stretched it goes up to 20 inches so i'll meet you when i have i've completed the panels to show you what to do next So here are my two panels, the front and back panels, and each measures 18 inches wide. So from this end here to the other end. To 18. and can stretch up to 20 inches okay yeah so the next step is to work on the sleeves and then the neck so to make sleeves you're going to start with a slip knot then chain a total of 92 one two three or five until you have 92 chains once you have 92 chains mm, confirm with they are measuring 21 inches okay so So here we go, we have 21 inches and the next step is um, skip two chains from the hook, one, two, and in the third make a half double crochet 
in the next chain half double crochet the next chain half double crochet and uh, we are going to make one half double crochet in each chain until we have 12 chains remaining at this point so I'm going to meet you when we have 12 chains remaining to show you the next step okay so once you have 12 uh, chains remaining make one single crochet in each of the chains to the end one single crochet one single crochet in each chain to the end all right so next uh, row chain one turn your work and um, you're going to work in the back loop only so insert your hook in the back loop and make a single crochet in the next stitch back loop single crochet in the next stitch back loop single crochet until you have 12 single crochets once you have 12 single crochets the next step is to make half double crochets in the back loop only so grab yarn insert your hook in the back loop and make a half double crochet in the next stitch half double crochet in the back loop next half double crochet back loop all the way to the end of this row so i'll meet you at this point to show you the next step so i have one stitch remaining and instead of working in both loops we are going to work at uh, instead of working the back loop we're going to work in both loops so you'll insert your hook in both loops and make a half double crochet so next step chain two and turn your work and start making half double crochets in the back loop only half double crochet in the back loop half double crochet in the back loop until you have two 12 stitches remaining at this point where we switch to single crochets okay so in the remaining 12 stitches we're going to work half a single crochet in each stitch back loop only single crochet back loop single crochet back loop to the end single crochet single crochet back loop only to the end of this um, row so when you get to the last stitch work in both loops you make a single crochet chain one turn your work and work in the back loop only single crochet until you have 12 single crochets in total then you switch to half double crochet and repeat the pattern until you have 13 inches of your sleeves So, so when you have 12 single crochets the next stitch is a half double crochet back loop half double crochet back loop so if you are okay this sweater is measurement based and for my sleeves I'll be making our uh, sleeves 
measuring 13 inches wide and can stretch up to 15 that is for each armhole so keep on working and i'll meet you when i have both sleeves to show you the next step so here are my sleeves i ended up making 31 rows and it's measuring about 13 inches which can stretch up to 15 yes yeah, so for the panels uh, each has 45 rows and uh, before we join both panels we're going to take measurements equivalent to the sleeve measurement so since our sleeves uh, stretch up to 15 inches you're going to measure 15 inches now is how we are going to do it for each panel I'll measure 7.5 so that when you join you'll have you'll have 15 okay so this is 7.5 without stretching and I'll put a stitch marker at this point and uh, I will count the number of stitches from where the stitch marker is to this point. So once you have the exact number of stitches from this point to this one, you're going to do the same on this other side. So count the stitches and put a stitch marker. So once you have the armholes, we're going to join the two panels and um, we start down going up. Okay, after counting the, the stitches for both sides of the armholes, go ahead and count and measure sorry measure five inches from each side so that you can have the head circumference of your sweater so i've measured five inches this side and five inches this side and in between i have this is 10 10 inches and it can stretch to fit 11.5 so that is um, 23 inches for the head circumference so i'll go ahead and join the two panels uh, for both sides so i'll start down here going up to where the stitch marker is yeah so from where we stopped, chain one, then you turn your work, align the two uh, ends and insert your hook in both loops here, then on the other side, both loops, grab yarn and make a slip stitch. that right so the next insert your hook in the back loop this first panel mm, in the back loop and the other panel both loops grab yarn make a slip stitch back panel both loops I mean uh, back loop on this first panel then both loops on the second panel and make a slip stitch so continue making slip stitches and I'll meet you at this point mm -hmm. to show you what to do next So 
when you get here you're going to remove this stitch marker and bring the slip like this folded so you're going to put it here you align both sides like this and also at this point so once you have it positioned well you're going to make slip stitches so first chain one then in this next stitch insert your hook in both loops this side and then bring the sleeve and insert your hook in the very first stitch grab yarn and make a slip stitch into the next stitch insert your hook in both loops and in the next space that you see on the sleeve remember we don't have specific stitches insert your hook and grab yarn to make a slip stitch next stitch then on the other side where you see a space insert your hook there grab yarn and make a slip stitch so continue like that going round and when you get to this point i'll show you what to do so when you get to the stitch mark remove it and make a slip stitch so this is the last stitch and then set your hook in the next space there make a slip stitch then uh, we turn to the other side okay. this, this is the second side of our armhole so we just fold the sleeve like this and continue making slip stitches so from where we stopped the last slip stitch remove your hook and insert it, insert it in the first stitch on this other side then pull that loop this side chain one and continue making slip stitches so in the very stitch this very first stitch insert your hook go to the next space on this other side and make a slip stitch next stitch make a slip stitch next slip stitch next slip stitch so continue like that until you get to the last stitch here so 
so doing the last stitch set your hook there and sorry set your hook then going to the uh, last stitch on the other side grab yarn and make a slip stitch chain one tighten and cut your yarn then come back to where we stopped when making the sleeves chain one turn the work and make slip stitches so insert your hook in both loops on the other side also both loops grab yarn make a slip stitch in the next uh, stitch on this side back loop only set your hook on the other side both loops make a slip stitch back loop on the other side both loops make a slip stitch continue like that until you get to this point So make the last slip stitch chain one tighten and cut your yarn next step we're going to work on the shoulders so I'll insert my hook at this point then grab yarn, make a slip knot and pull that loop to make one single uh, one chain then uh, you're going to make slip stitches so insert your hook in the first space that you see and on the other side then make a slip stitch To the next space that you see and another on the other side make a slip stitch so I'm going to make slip stitches and I'll meet you when done with both sides to show you the next step Remove the stitch mark and make the last uh, slip stitch. Chain one, tighten and cut your yarn. Yes, so now we're going to turn these inside out so that we can work on the on the neck part. So let's work on the neck. Insert your hook at one point where you made the last slip stitch and uh, pull that loop and make one chain. Make two chains, sorry. And in the next space, you're going to make one half double crochet. the next space make half double crochet next half double crochet next space half double crochet so you're going to make one half double crochet in every space that you see to the end so I'll go around the neck and join with a slip stitch 
at this point where we started so keep on making one half double crochet in every space as you can see in the video I'm making one half double crochet in every space that I can see so I'll meet you here join in the very first uh, stitch with a slip stitch chain two and for this round two we're going to make front post and back post double crochets so grab yarn insert your hook through the first post and make a front post double crochet grab yarn go through the back to the front then back grab yarn pull through to make a back post double crochet next is a front post double crochet next is a back post double crochet sorry next a front post double crochet and we're going to alternate a front post and back post double crochets to the end of this round so we complete this round with a slip stitch in the first stitch chain two and make a front post in the previous front post so insert your hook through the front post grab yarn and make a front post next stitch is a back post so you're going to make a back post double crochet next post uh, is a front post so make a front post double crochet and uh, we're going to repeat this pattern until we have six rounds of front post and back post double crochet so this is round two of front post and back post and i'm going to make four more rounds so i'll meet you at the end of the sixth round to show you the next step so next is a back post next front post and that order to the end so this is the sixth round of half uh, front post and back post double crochets and uh, i'm doing the last stitch then join to the first stitch with a slip stitch yeah so this is what we have up to this point and uh, i'm going to make the last round and in this case i'm going to chain one then instead of making front post and back post double crochets we are going to make front post and back post half double crochet so once you have three loops on your hook grab yarn and pull through all the three loops that is a half double crochet next is a back post so go through the back and make a half double crochet next front post so make a front post half double crochet next is a, ha a back post and you're going to make a, a back post half double crochet so continue making front post and back post half double crochet to the end of this round making the last half double crochet then join with a slip stitch in the very first stitch chain one tighten and cut your yarn 
Yeah, that is how we complete our project. Now it's time to weave in all the ends, including those that are inside. Yeah. And we'll call it a day. And here is our final product. Yeah, this is how the sweater looks like. Very beautiful. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial to this point. Please give this video a like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. Until next video, bye!